Hello everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez of TheMovieWizard.com and all the little scurrying here in the background is my chinchilla Perry, the movie chinchilla. Say hi Perry. He doesn't talk very much. Anyway, let's get straight to business today, shall we? For those of you who are aware, I'm a big fan of Frozen. And if you subscribe to my videos, you might remember a rant that I did about the lack of a Blu-ray 3D release for the movie in America. That rant is available online, you can go listen to it now if you haven't. And it mirrors a lot of people's feelings about Disney not releasing a Blu-ray 3D to probably their biggest hit in years, with no explanation, because all the other countries got it and all that jazz. Well, I, I don't want to go over it again, let's, let's just say America got screwed in the 3D department. However, there were hopes that we would get one later on. In fact, there were rumors that there would be an October or November Diamond Edition release of Frozen. The rumors started out from inside sources, and it seemed to match up a little bit because if you did buy the DVD or Blu-ray, and there's a pretty good chance you did, even if it didn't have the 3D, you'll notice that the special features were kind of... Uh, let's say weak. To be nice. A Diamond Edition re-release certainly seemed to make sense, and if you're going to have the Diamond Edition, you might as well have the 3D Edition. Months have gone by, there's been no words. However, a preview has shown up on the Disney documentary movie Bears Blu-ray and DVD. In the previews, they actually confirm a new release of Frozen is coming this year. In fact, it's going to be here on November 18th, but it is not the Blu-ray 3D. No, 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 no. I guess that would have been expecting way too much because that would be completely logical to do. Now, you want to know what this new release of Frozen is? It's the Frozen Sing-Along Edition. What? Are you kidding me? I mean, are you seriously kidding me? You know, you have to get up pretty early in the morning to really, truly surprise me like this, but oh my gosh, what the heck, Disney? Seriously! A sing-along edition! A separate release for the sing-along! You are re-releasing Frozen in a separate DVD, possibly Blu-ray release, for subtitles! You want to make people read by something just because it has a certain set of subtitles that you could have easily put on the other editions! Oh my gosh! I cannot believe this! Oh my gosh, if this wasn't a family-friendly channel, I would say something, but boy, you know what that is. This is... this is insane! This is bad! Like, wow! How little does Disney really think of their target audience? They honestly expect Frozen fans to pick up a brand new edition of Frozen just because it has a set of subtitles that you can sing along the words with? You could do that with the current DVD and Blu-ray if you just turn the subtitles on and don't speak the dialogue along with the characters. That's not a good reason to re-release a movie. You want to know re-release that we do want? We want the damn Blu-ray 3D. I mean, seriously, why is that so hard to bring us? It's not like it's impossible to press these discs. It's not like the discs are expensive to press. You know, you release Thor in Blu-ray 3D, you release... Well, you're gonna release Captain America in 3D. Why can't you release Frozen in 3D? I mean, I was getting a little concerned that you guys weren't gonna release the Blu-ray 3D here because you also did not release Need for Speed in Blu-ray 3D, even though I wouldn't have bought that anyway. And you're not releasing Maleficent in 3D here, even though I probably wouldn't have bought that either. Of course, the other countries are getting the 3D versions, but not us. So I was getting a little concerned about that. But this... Holy cow, this is something else completely. This is way above and beyond stupefying. This is way and beyond dumb. This is just bad. This is giving fans the middle finger and charging them $19.99 suggested retail price at the same time. I, I don't even know what else to say. Viewers, I don't know what to tell you either. I have to be honest, uh, I never, never ever saw this coming. I don't think anyone can honestly say they did. I mean, is that why the sing-along subtitles weren't on the current Blu-ray because they plan to do this? How cheap can you be? There are subtitles! Why are people gonna buy a brand new DVD for subtitles? That's not even that hard to put on a DVD. Oh my... Ugh. Sorry, I gotta, had to punch something. <sighs> All right, let's calm down for a moment. So we're not getting Frozen in Blu-ray 3D. I guess you could always 
import the European Blu-ray 3D because it works on the American Blu-ray 3D players. We shouldn't have to do that. The sad thing about this is that I have actually been a defender of Frozen all this time. When people say Disney is milking it, they're using it too much, and they should really move on to something else, I have been saying it is a good movie. If it's a good movie, let it be good. Let people enjoy it. Don't rain on their parade. This might be the first time I actually officially feel Frozen has overstayed its welcome. If only because it's now at a point where people are being taken advantage of. And we're still not getting what we are really asking for. I really don't know what else to add to all this. I mean, I have uh, I have a new blog for Blu-ray 3Ds in America. I guess you can click that. I'm going to be writing about this more there. But uh, yeah, also contact information below um, with Disney. Uh, just, I mean, it's clear they don't care at this point. But geez, I just... Like, if you gotta rant, you might as well rant to the people who are making you upset, right? This is Kevin T. Rodriguez of TheMovieWizard.com. Talk to you next time.